Hi, I'm Mindy Raymond Benson, and welcome to my Supreme Speed Sculpting Workout. This workout is designed to give you a full body workout with emphasis on your arms, shoulders, and back. So I keep moving at a pretty decent pace, so at any time if you need a rest, please take one. A great pose to rest in is child's pose. So you're gonna draw your knees as wide as a mat, sit your hips back to your heels, and just kind of fold forward from here. And again, take as long a rest as you need and just join back up when you're ready. So okay, we wanna make sure that we have our flex straps nearby. The sculpting bar is gonna be attached to the tower. The tower is at the highest point. And again, we have that half round for your lumbar. So if you have any back issues and need that extra support, please use this during the workout. Okay, so let's begin. We're gonna start with rows. You're gonna press your feet against the tower. I like to keep a bend in my knees. I just feel like it kind of helps release my hamstrings a little bit. Maybe move the tush out of the way here. And you're gonna have an overhand grip on the bar, so on the outside of the hooks. Now I want you to lean your body back until you start to feel that engaged core. So we lean back, we open up through the chest, and from here you're just gonna draw the bar to your chest. So exhale, shh, inhale. Now modification, you're gonna draw your chest closer to the tower. If you need a little extra, you can lean back further or even start to straighten your legs. So it's kind of up to you and your fitness level and what feels good for you here. Breathe. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades at the back here. Squeeze together. Squeeze. Open up through your chest. Shh. Neutral gaze. Pull that belly in here, you guys. Four. Here's three. Two. And one. Okay, we're gonna have an underhand grip now on the inside of the hooks for our bicep curls. Again, the feet are pressing against the towers. You wanna raise your elbows up in line with the shoulders. Hands are about shoulder width apart. And from here, you're just gonna bring the bar to the forehead. So it's this nice isolated movement here. Work in the biceps. Good, lift through your chest. Anchor down into the sits bones. Sits bones, so there's two bony parts of the glutes. You can feel them pressing into the mat here. And you exhale as you bring it in. Shh. Shh. So that breath throughout our workout is inhale through your nose and exhale out of the mouth. Squeeze. Squeeze. Hug the belly in. Here's four. Three. Here's two. And one, all right, nice work. We're gonna come onto our knees. So knees are gonna be about hip width distance. I place my knees just beyond this halfway mark um, in the mat, so depending on your fitness level, coming closer to the tower makes it a little bit easier. Moving back makes it a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna move into chest press here. Overhand grip on the outside of the hooks. You're gonna lift up through your chest and just bring again that bar to the chest, squeeze. Good, so we're staying lifted here. I'm actually gonna back up just a little bit. Shh. Squeeze. Squeeze, good. Breathe it in, work in that little part in that shoulder area, right where the shoulder and the chest connect. A lot of us ladies have an area there we don't, or we need to work out. <laughs> so you're squeezing, squeeze. Almost done, pull the belly in, lift through the chest. Four, starting to sweat. Here's three, here's two, and one. Let's go ahead and stand, facing the tower for our standing crunch. Feet are hip width distance. We're gonna lift, draw the shoulders back. Nice lifted chest. Take an inhale, and then exhale. You're rounding it all the way down. Bring the bar to the shins. Slowly take it back up. Lift, exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. You're pressing into the feet. Exhale, roll it down. Stretching through your hamstrings. Lift, a nice reverse crunch here. Three more. Shh. Inhale to lift, legs are strong. Here's two. Round, round, round. Hug the belly in. Lift it up. Last one, you guys, we're gonna take it down and hold as we get down here. So hold, squeeze, pull your belly in. Breathe for three, for two. And slowly take it back up. Oh, nice work. I definitely feel that. Tricep press. Still that overhand grip on our sculpting bar. 
We wanna open up the palms possibly too, just kinda of depending on what you feel comfortable with. What you're gonna do is bring the bar to the hips and then it's just this little press right here. It's a small movement. So modification, you're gonna move closer to the tower. If you need a little more, step it back. So you wanna challenge yourself here. And that tricep is that small muscle on the outside of our arms. We wanna keep that nice and sculpted. So when we wear tank tops, it looks really good. Squeeze. Good, lift through your chest, hug your belly in. Breathe here, almost there you guys, little pulses, breathe. Shh, shh, shh. Here we are for four. Here's three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and release. I'm gonna just allow the sculpting bar to be on the outside of the tower. <clears throat> We're gonna lay on our back, head is gonna face towards the tower. For our teaser, this is a traditional Pilates move. You're gonna use your pull through bar. Modification for this one is you, you keep your knees bent. If you're gonna come with me in full expression, <clears throat> we extend our legs. So we're gonna draw the bar to our chest. We're gonna take an inhale here. And then exhale, lift it up. Shh. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Shh. Again, modification, just keep the knees bent the entire time and just lift the chest. Gaze is up. Good, exhale, shh. We have three more, you guys. If your muscles are shaking, that's a good sign. I know mine are, it means the muscles are working. Here's one, we're gonna hold, breathe, lift for three, for two, and then slowly, whoo, take it down. At least that pull through bar. We're gonna grab the sculpting bar. We keep it moving here, speed sculpting. It's the name of the game. So we're gonna move into doubles, actually. <clears throat> You can do singles if uh, for the modification, you're gonna keep your knees bent. The bar is gonna come to your thighs. So the doubles are a two count breath. So whatever feels comfortable for you here in this workout, let's go ahead and inhale and then bring it up. So those are the doubles. Singles, you're just holding it. So I'm gonna take it back to doubles. Here's four, breathe it out you guys. Here's two, or three, here's two, and one. Nice work, all right. We're gonna switch out our sculpting bar here. Now that we have the flex straps attached, we're gonna take it down. Pavana Muktasana, this is wind removing pose. So you're drawing your knees into your chest. I want you to grab opposite wrists, pull your shoulders down, tuck your chin to your chest, and squeeze your legs in. So we really wanna hug the knees in. This is an active posture here, you guys. As much as you're hugging your knees in, push your knees against your forearms. So you should feel this constriction in your hip flexors. That's what I want. Working through the digestive tract right now, we're constricting the internal organs. This is great for digestion. Great pose, you can do this first thing in the morning. It's a good way to start the day. So let's take one more inhale and exhale. Pull, squeeze, soften the shoulders down. Tailbone is on the mat. Okay, good. So now we have the flex straps here. We're gonna use these, um, we're gonna hold on to them with our hands. So move into hundreds. This is a very traditional Pilates move. Modification, you're gonna keep your knees bent. Otherwise, you're gonna come with me into that full expression and that Pilates V. Now it's an inhale for five counts and it's an exhale for five counts. So I'm gonna be doing the breath, so I won't be cueing very much during the hundreds. Let's get this going. Okay, so go ahead and lift up and let's begin. Last 
Okay, release, hug those knees in. That is an intense workout right there, doing those hundreds, oh my goodness. Let's stretch it out with some leg circles. You're gonna bring the feet into the flex straps. Extend the legs. <clears throat> Heels are gonna come in, toes out. Flex your feet here, so we wanna create that tension in your springs. And inhale to lower down and exhale, stretch. Bring it up. Big, nice big leg circles here. Really wanna open up through your hips. Work your glutes, inner and outer thighs are strong. Don't forget about the belly, you guys. Pull it in towards the spine. Breathe. Good, inhale. Do three more here in this direction. Open it up. Last two. One more this direction again. Keep those feet flexed and let's reverse it. So now we're gonna open up and bring it back to center. So different muscles working here as we go into those big, huge circles. Feels really nice to release the hips here, doesn't it? Oh, awesome, this feels so good. You guys are feeling it. All right, we got three more this direction. Breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one right here. Good. Okay, we're gonna keep the flex straps in the feet as we move into scissor kick. So lower the left leg down and bring it up. Right leg and up. If you'd like to bend the knee at the top here, that helps release your hamstring a little bit. Go ahead and do so. But again, focus in on that low belly. Pull it back towards your spine. Flex through your feet. Nice, good workout. Lengthening, we're lengthening the muscles. So the cool thing about this product is that it combines yoga, Pilates, and bar. And all these are such good workouts. Lengthening and expanding the muscles. Bar workout really works on specific muscles and creating that strength and then stretching it out in yoga pose. All right, last one this side. Good, frogs. We're gonna draw the heels in, the toes out. You're gonna bend the knees here. Bring it in as much as you can and then exhale, extend. Shh. Good, bring it in. Shh. Bring it in, nice. Open V with the feet. Keep the heels glued together. This is tricky. Doesn't, it's harder than it looks, right? You're keeping those heels pressed together. So good, open up the knees, frog kick it out. Shh. Keep drawing the belly in. Almost there, you guys are doing great. This is an intense workout. We got three more here. Shh. Good, breathe. One more, bring it in, kick it out, shh. Okay, Pilates lift here, the leg lifts. Heels are gonna stay glued together. We're gonna lower the legs down together, breathe. Good, exhale it up, shh. Inhale, stretch, exhale it up, shh. So you're taking it down as far as you can. The more you do this, the more you'll be able to really extend those legs but you should be feeling this in your inner and outer thighs and that low base of the glute, creating that nice round glute that we all want. Nice firm booty. We have three more here, you guys. Breathe, lift. Here's two. Exhale it up. And last one, take it down. Let's hold here at the bottom. Just hold, feel it, breathe into the the quaking of the muscles, it means they're working. Hug the belly in for three, for two, and slowly take it up. Good, nice work. Okay, we're gonna release our feet from the flex straps. We're gonna turn around and face the feet against the tower as we move into bridge pose. All right, so we're gonna just kind of move those straps out of the way. You're using your pull through bar, so we're gonna roll all the way down onto our back. Find that distance that you need to be um, next to the tower. You're gonna press your feet into the pull-through bar. The modification for this one is that your feet stay on the mat. So this is our bridge pose. On an inhale, we're gonna lift the hips towards the high. You can keep your arms right here if you want to interlace them underneath you. It's pretty intense stretch in the shoulders, so just do what you can. Chin to chest, you're gonna lift. Now I want you to soften the glutes here. Engage your quadriceps. Push into the bar, push into the feet. Lift another inch here, hold. 
And then slowly, if you have the arm grip, you're gonna release the arms, take it all the way down. Soles of the feet are gonna come together and you're gonna open up your knees. Supta Bodho Konasana. It's another great yoga stretch. So again, as much as we wanna work out the body and really pump up the muscles, we also need to allow them to stretch and open up. Now here you want your low back just kind of in that natural curve. All right, we're gonna take one more inhale. And exhale. Oh, that feels great. Okay, got, draw your feet up towards the ceiling. I want you to grab the tops of the feet. This is commonly known as happy baby pose. In our yoga practice, we're gonna get deep uh, stretch into the hips. So now pull your feet down towards your hips. You wanna stack your ankles and knees. Again, chin is tucked to your chest. If you have the flexibility, you can use your peace fingers, grab onto your big toes, and really start to extend the legs out. It feels really good here. You can always rock a little left and right on the back. Helps release the low back. It's stimulating your kidneys. So getting a deep stretch in the hip flexors. All right, come back here, right to center. Take an inhale, exhale. All right, let's go ahead and draw the knees in. We'll find a nice comfortable seat here on the mat. I want you to lengthen up through the spine. Hands are just gonna be placed on the knees. Go ahead and close your eyes here for a moment. Nice work today. Take an inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. You did it, awesome job. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. We got one more deep full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Okay, awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me today in speed sculpting. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste.